I just realized that without this promo spot, the first shot of my first video of 2016 would have been me sitting on a toilet. So thank you. Micro Jig, maker of the gripper. Work safer, work smarter. Happy New Year, everybody, and welcome to 2016, the ninth year of Woodworking for Mere Mortals. I'm kicking off the new year by remodeling our guest bathroom, starting with this vanity and sink. Cabinet making is very simple. It'll save you a lot of money, and you can customize it to fit any space. This vanity is a full five inches taller than the old one, making it a lot more comfortable to use. Before I get started, I have a couple of channel announcements I'd like to make. First, whenever possible, I'm going to try posting a second video each week, more minutes. It'll be a follow up to the project video with more details, scenes I cut, outtakes, and answers to your questions. So if you have any questions about this cabinet build, leave them down in the comments and you'll see that video early in the week. Second, I want to announce an ad-free, sponsor-free version of Woodworking for Mere Mortals for Patreon supporters at the $5 and higher level. This will be the exact same video you're seeing here for free, except without any ads or additional monetization. If this sounds like something that interests you, just go over to my Patreon page to sign up. Finally, don't forget to sign up for Beer Minutes by Vlog Channel. We have a lot of fun over there. Some of it woodworking. <laughs> The plywood I've used is kind of cheap, so I've put down a layer of blue painter's tape, which should help control the chip out on that top layer. And I don't need any of the tape when I'm cutting in the direction of the grain. I'll join the cabinet together using pocket screws. I'll conceal them underneath. This thin plywood sheet for the back is gonna give the cabinet a lot of extra strength. I'll just tack it into place. Before I assemble these pieces for the base, I need to cut a hole in one piece for this heat register. I'll put screws in the back side since they won't be visible. I'll use finishing nails on the front, that way I'll be able to cover up the holes with spackling. And these triangles will give it extra support. I'm using solid lumber for the face frame and I'll assemble it using pocket screws. Normally I would use my nail gun to just tack this all the way around, but unfortunately after 15 years my compressor finally died. So until I get a new one, I'm just gonna pound these nails in old school style. I'm cutting a hole in the back for the plumbing to fit through. I'm using solid lumber for the door frames. I cut out some thin paneling that I'll attach to the back side of these. For an edge profile, I'm just gonna use a simple round over bit on my router. I'll get the doors positioned and screwed in place now and then remove them for painting. I'll use a solid piece of lumber for the false drawer front.
lot easier to attach the faucet before dropping the sink in. who will continue to sponsor Woodworking for Beer Mortals throughout 2016. I want to start off this year recommending an audiobook that you will not want to pause. If you love thrillers, check out The Girl on the Train by Paula Hawkins. It's about a London woman who passes the same house every day on her train commute and through a window observes the couple that lives there. Well, suddenly her world gets turned upside down when she happens to witness the girl in the window getting murdered. My wife actually read this book before me and kept asking me who I thought did it and how I thought the book would end. I think right near the end, I figured figured it out, but it was a great mystery along the way. Mostly I kept thinking what a great movie this would make, and sure enough, it's going to be. It's coming out in October, and it's going to star Rebecca Ferguson and Emily Blunt. I, I can't wait to see it. Don't forget, you can download this or any of over 180,000 audiobooks free by going to audible.com slash woodworking. After reading The Girl on the Train and a few other thrillers last year, I'd like to know if you have any recommendations for me. Let me know down in the comments what I should check out. And let me know if you've read The Girl on the Train and what you thought about it. Thank you for joining me this week on Woodworking for Mere Mortals. I do have plans for this cabinet. If you'd like to download those, check down in the description. You'll probably have to modify them to fit whatever space you have. Don't forget if you have any questions about this project or are unclear about something, leave a comment down below and I'll try to get to those in more minutes, which will be early next week. You'll get to see a lot of additional stuff on there that I couldn't include in this video, like how I busted out this huge mirror that was on the wall here. That was kind of scary. If you enjoyed this video, please share it with others and don't forget to subscribe to Woodworking for Mere Mortals. Let's make it a great 2016, everybody. Hard for me to believe this is the ninth year I've been doing this. And I still haven't made the chess pieces.